If you've ever tried to use ChatGPT to write a full blog post, you've probably realized pretty quickly that it's not all rainbows and butterflies, and you very rarely get a post that is as long as you want and as high quality as you want without a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT and a little bit of computer smashing. We now have a method where me or any member on my team can hop in and in 10 minutes we can spit out a high quality blog post that is as long as we need it to be and as quality as we need it to be and ready to go live. And in this video, we're gonna break down the entire process for you so you can do the same thing. And just to show you on the screen right here, this is actually starting to work. You can see we started this about 30 days ago, which means it took about 15 days for Google to index and all that stuff. But you can see right here, organic traffic took a big jump about 10 days ago, and it's uh, just now hitting the highest it's ever hit. And you can see organic keywords, same thing, starting to really start to take off because we're able to put out so much content. So you can see that I'm in Ahrefs right here. That's where I do everything. We'll leave a link down below to Ahrefs. This is where I do all of my research and analysis and everything when I'm trying to figure out uh, what to do on my blog. But the first thing we're gonna do is we need to come up with at least 50 articles to write. Because AI can write this for us in 10 minutes, we don't have a lot of limitations, so you're gonna to wanna to come up with a lot. The more, the better. And I don't overcomplicate this. If you head over here to the keyword explorer inside of Ahrefs, you're gonna choose kind of a base or a main keyword that you're gonna run with, and it's gonna give you a ton of different ideas. So for example, for my blog, it's kind of all about making money in a million different ways. We'll type in make money, and we're gonna get a bunch of different options right here. Now you can choose three different ways to go. You can choose matching terms, related terms, or search suggested. I typically go with matching in the beginning and if you don't get enough ideas there, then you can move on to related. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a keyword difficulty. For me, I'm gonna do about 40. If you have a brand new blog, you're probably gonna wanna shoot for something closer to 20. If you've got a really old blog, you can even go up to something like 50. That's just kind of like how hard it is for someone to come in and take the top spot in Google for this particular keyword. Next, you're gonna go to volume right here. And because we're letting AI write this, it's only gonna take us 10 minutes. It's gonna cost us almost no money. We're okay with going for some low volume stuff here, right? If it only takes us 10 minutes and a dollar, to make this post go live, then it's okay if only 50 people find it a month. That's 50 people every single month, right? So we're gonna go minimum of 50 right here. We're gonna click apply. Now here we're gonna add one more feature. This is a new feature inside of Ahrefs. You can see right here it says lowest DR. Uh, and what this is is we wanna see if the particular phrase or keyword that we're gonna try to rank for actually has potential for small blog. So we're gonna say that we want something that's got a DR, a domain, like a domain rating of somewhere between zero and 40, and we want it in the top 10, meaning we want at least one small blog in the search results. That's kind of the one we're planning I'm knocking out here. We're gonna click apply right there. We're gonna do word count and we're gonna say we want at least three words. Trust me on this one, you don't want a bunch of single word things. It's really hard to target one single word in Google. Once we've added all of these filters, we're gonna go to show results right here and we're gonna get a bunch of options. Ignore the green thing up there. But you can see we've got tons of options right here of articles we can write that have thousands of people searching them every month. They're not super competitive. And because we can spit out articles every 10 minutes, we can really hit every single one of these. A couple things standing out, right? Secret websites to make money. Ah, that's a one. That's like the easiest thing in the world to rank for according to this. It looks like it's kind of starting to take off. It's got thousands of people searching it every month. We're definitely gonna like that one. But really what you're gonna not do here is be very picky because this is so easy to do. So you'll wanna go through here and maybe pick out anything that's like an obvious, like, no, I don't want that on my blog. Uh, for example, I don't really wanna write about OnlyFans on my blog, so I'm gonna remove that. Anything else that kind of seems a little weird, selling feet pics, I think we're actually going to run with that. But anything else we can remove and uh, we'll be good to go. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to get a few secondary keywords. Essentially, we're saying if I rank for this or if I am you know, doing well on this, how to make money in Pinterest, what are some other sections or some other things that I might want that blog post to own up on. And you can see most of it is going to be in this left column. Once you click into it, it's gonna give you other keyword ideas and you're gonna take most of these. So how many followers do you need? How do you make money without a blog? How to make money for beginners? And then maybe a year. You can also look at questions and stuff like that, but essentially you're gonna come up with, for each of your articles, you're gonna come up with the article idea and you're gonna come up with just a few of these right here. Now, some people like to take a spreadsheet like this and they like to add it all to the spreadsheet. I don't like doing that because I like to hire out everything after this. So I just like to have whoever I hire out come up with the secondary keywords and I essentially just come up with the primary 50. But you can do that however you want. If you're a spreadsheet person, you wanna add a spreadsheet and then add you know, columns for each of those. That's up to you, not how I do it, no problem. The next thing we're gonna do is actual writing. I feel like I tried out every single software out there when it comes to AI writing. Could have missed a few, but I definitely put in a lot of time here. And the one that I ended up settling on is the software called AnyWord AI. So I will leave a link down below to AnyWord. Um, yes, it'll probably be an affiliate link. That's uh, how the channel gets monetized. But if you end up in AnyWord, you're gonna sign up fairly cheap. They have a bunch of different account sizes depending on how much you wanna spit out. They have an option called a blog wizard. So it's gonna say, describe the blog post. So I'm gonna say a blog post about 
how to make money on Pinterest to kind of run with the one that we were already running with earlier, right? And it's going to kind of basically take over and do everything from here. But what it also needs is your target and your secondary keyword. So my target keyword is make money on Pinterest, okay? My related keywords are given to me inside of Ahrefs. You can see right here, how many followers do you need? How many followers to make money on Pinterest? And then I'll do a comma and there was one more that looked good in there, right? How to make money on Pinterest without a blog, okay? I'll tap over and those are kind of the two secondary keywords that I'd like to throw on there. Now you may run into more, you can see as you go on questions and things like that, how to monetize Pinterest might be one. Sometimes I'll swap that out. I just know my niche. I know some people type it in that way. So that might be one. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of confirm everything with you and then it's actually going to give you five different title options as well as some idea of how it thinks you're going to do. So you can see right here, it says, ah, oh, we love this one. That's a score of 79, a predicted engagement score as they call it. But you're gonna look through here and see if you have one. You're probably going to want to pick one of the titles that does include that primary keyword, which is make money on Pinterest. So looking at these, I like one, I like three. I'm probably just gonna run with one because I like the score of 79 more than a score of 75, but you can always regenerate five, six, seven times until you feel like it's given you one that you are confident running with. So we'll click that title, we'll click next. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna break out an outline for you now, and you can tweak the outline, which is nice. It's gonna say, here's what I think the outline should look like with seven different sections, and you can say whether or not you're okay with that. Now looking here, I'm pretty impressed with this, right? Understanding the potential of Pinterest to make money, creating a business account, building your presence, and gaining followers, strategies for paying to make money, making money through affiliate marketing, partnering with brands, selling products and services directly. Like that is a good outline for a solid blog post on monetizing Pinterest. But like I said, you can always add more. You can say, hey, I want you to kind of add um, this section or this section, and I am going to add a section on how many followers you need to make money on Pinterest, okay? Because that was one of my terms match here that people are also looking for, and I kind of want to include that in this article. So I'll add that. I'll click next and we're pretty good. And it's gonna write one section at a time for you. Now, most of the sections it just writes and it says, are you okay with this? But because of how important an intro is, it's actually gonna give you a few different options. You can see intro paragraph, it's got one, two, three different options that we can kind of choose between. Let's look at one real quick. Are you interested in making money on Pinterest? It's easier than you think. Whether you're a creative entrepreneur or just getting started, monetizing your pins can be a great way to start earning some extra income. In this blog post, we'll share some most effective strategies for leveraging Pinterest to make money on the platform. This is a good intro. This is as good as any writer I've ever hired out of this uh, software right here. So we're gonna click the one it chose. And you can see the top option is usually good enough that you can hire someone out. So that's why I'm able to have team members do all of this because you can trust typically that you're gonna come out with some pretty good stuff on those first few options. Once we're there, we'll click continue to editor and it's now time to write the body or the main part of this article. Now all we've gotta do is generate each section. We're just gonna click generate section right here. You can give it lengths. I almost always say long. Long form is just done better for me in Google, almost always. You can give it any information you want. It doesn't need your information, but you can give it information if you, uh, you, know, you wanna make sure it includes something. You can also pull from your keyword so you can say, make sure to use this keyword in this article yeah, a couple times right there. Can you make sure that that falls in there and it will do it. So I'll click generate right here. We'll give it another 10 seconds and we'll be done with our first section, which is understand the potential of Pinterest to make money. All I'm gonna do is go down each of these, click generate section. I'm gonna uh, choose long right here and I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so what I just did, click that button a bunch of times uh, essentially, uh, which is my specialty by the way. That's what I'm really good at is clicking. And you can see it's now generated all of these sections and I've got a full, about 2,000 to 2,500 word article ready to go. Once I've clicked all the buttons, you can see I've had to click eight times now, regenerate section. That's the gist of what I've done. I can click on copy to clipboard and I am now ready to go. That's a full blog post. Now, the only thing I would say where you may end up with struggles, so you or a team member may need to look at this, is the first sentence of each section. I've noticed sometimes it gets stuck because it's generating them separately. It will generate the same first sentence to each section, which doesn't write well. If you notice that, keep an eye out for that. Read the first sentence of each of those paragraphs and make sure it doesn't get stuck in this loop where it's saying the first sentence almost exactly every single time. Now let's get to the part where everyone says, but Google's going to detect this, Google's going to bust your website for spamming, this won't work in the long run. That may or may not be so. And in fact, if you search, Google has come out and said, we do not penalize content for being written by AI. Even if we know it's been written by AI, we just want high quality content. Now, whether or not it's going to be that way in the future is up for you to decide. If you're worried that Google eventually will decide to penalize AI sites, I fully admit it's possible. Google's absolutely notorious for taking one approach and then swapping the approach immediately after that. But if that is a fear for yours and you want to make sure that your content cannot be detected as written by AI, you can use something called Word AI. And you can see inside of Word AI, all you've got to do is plug in that article that you were given from any word and you say you want to rewrite, you can select just how intense you'd like that rewrite to be and you click rewrite. And it's going to spit out a similar article right here on the right, but it's going to be rewritten in a way that hopefully doesn't allow Google to see it. Now, 
Then the next step is to copy into WordPress. If you're totally new to blogging, we'll leave a, a link down below to a blogging tutorial to get your WordPress blog up and running, but we're assuming you have something at this point. So you can throw it in WordPress or whatever your blogging platform is, but I'm gonna click add new right here and all you've got to do is paste what you've been given. Now, there are some adjustments that I will typically make. For example, when you look in here, you're gonna see that it can get a little wordy. It'll have longer paragraphs and things like that. So what I do is first I'll remove that word intro. I'll take the title and put it up in the title, right? And then I will actually enter or add a space between each sentence to give it a little bit of space. You can see right there, I'm just gonna keep going down and I'm going to give this article a little bit of space, a little bit of breathing room. I just find it tends to do better when people don't see so many words. Then you'll need to go in and just add H2 tags and that essentially means it's giving you these kind of headers right here. So you'll copy each of those and you'll make it a header, okay? And at this point, you've got a nice looking blog article. It looks good, everything's done, except for we do need to add a featured image and then a few images throughout the article. Now to come up with the images for your blog post, there's two ways to go about it. You can use free sites like pixabay.com, pexels.com, unsplash.com, all of these have free generic pictures that you can use to put throughout your blog post. For me, I'll use a little bit of that, but I'll also create my own because it's very, very easy to do with AI. We'll use an AI image generator now called Midjourney, but all you're going to do in Midjourney is you're gonna copy your prompt just like this. You're gonna say picture showing, and it depends on how you want it to look, but for me, I usually like a little bit of an animated kind of feature picture. Picture showing, what do you want it to show? And then you'll have this part at the end right here, dash dash AR 16 colon nine dash dash V5, dash Dash, dash Q2. The V5 and the Q2 are just telling Midjourney we basically want the best version Midjourney has to offer. And then the AR169 is essentially saying the dimensions that we want the image to be. So you can see any of these four would look just fine. We're going to run with version three. So we'll just click U3 right there. That is going to be our blog post featured image moving forward. So I'm gonna scroll to the bottom of the article and inside of WordPress at least, if you're using the, the themes and stuff that I use, you're gonna see right here, I can click set featured image and I can now upload the image that we just created in side of Midjourney. The only other thing I'll do with images is I will take some of those images from Pixabay and maybe one or two more from Midjourney if I can't find what I'm looking for and I will add images right here in every article. So it'll introduce something and then it will have a little image just basically to break up the text and then move on. All right, so I just added seven images. One of them was made from Midjourney just to kind of show you what that looks like and then I added the rest of the images before each section. So this is the blog post when done, all run by AI, images made by AI, everything. You can see here that background image automatically comes from AI. Right here, this image comes from AI, understanding the potential of Pinterest for making money. That's a pretty good image. I'm not, I don't think anyone's gonna stop and look too closely at it and say, why is that Pinterest logo? <laughs> messed up, we're totally fine there. And you can see there, it just has a good clean look to it. Now the last step before you go, before you leave and think, okay, we've made it, the last two steps is gonna make all this come together and actually rank and make money. The last step is what's called internal linking. And if you're new to blogging, essentially that's you letting your blog kind of connect to itself and create a little spider web effect so Google can crawl through your blog and understand what everything's about. Now we're gonna use a free AI, even though they don't call themselves AI plugin called Link Whisper. So you're gonna download this plugin called Link Whisper. You can get a free version or a paid version. And once you download the plugin, you're gonna to go to plugins right here and you're going to go to add new. And on that add new page, you're just going to type in whisper and you're going to see it's gonna pull up Link Whisper free. You're gonna install that plugin. Now, once you install that plugin, your posts are now going to include something at the bottom of them. So in this post that we're working on, for example, once I scroll beneath the post, you can see right here, there's this Link Whisper plugin. Personally, I click this, only show link suggestions in the same category. Typically, I try to interlink within one specific category of blog posts. You can do whatever you prefer there. But what it's going to do is it's gonna look through all of the phrases in your blog post that you just wrote, and it's gonna say, hey, I think you can link to it from here, or I think you can link to it from here. And it essentially will tell you all the places that you can externally or internally link. So you can see right here, it's saying, hey, you're talking about setting up an affiliate program, and look right here, we've got a blog post about affiliate programs. Look right here, traffic, we've got a blog post about traffic. So in this version, you'll have to copy and then manually go do that. Okay, you'll copy that link that it goes to and you'll manually go add that up ahead in the free version. If you choose the paid version, which is what I would do because it's not that expensive and will save you a ton of time, all you would have to do is click a check mark and it'll go through and check everything for you and add it all for you. And all you have to do is kind of click approve. That step is really big, by the way. That's very important not to create blog posts that are islands. So you want to have that. Then of course, you'll want to add any affiliate links you have as well. But the last step is where everything comes together. This won't work initially for you. So you're gonna do this and you're not going to see a lot of change until you follow the step that we're gonna talk about right here. And what that step is, is once again, we're gonna go into Ahrefs, okay? And you're gonna give Ahrefs access to your website. So you're gonna to go to ahrefs.com, you're gonna click the 
site explorer up there and you're gonna type in your own website. And every 15 or 30 days after that, we're gonna start looking for articles that are starting to do well. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to organic keywords on the left and in position here, you're gonna click on new and you're gonna click apply and you're gonna click show results. And you're gonna start seeing these new places and these new keywords that you have started to show up for, right? And you can see here, this is one we just did. Please no one steal my idea. But we're going to see that we're showing up for position nine. So this is one of our articles. We just showed up and we're in the top 15. That's good. We're looking for articles that showed up and are ranking in the top 15. Now we're going to go into this article. Okay, so we're going to go find our article about jobs that pay $30 an hour. And we're going to start making some adjustments to this article. We're going to go read through it. We're going to adjust things that maybe sound a little weird. We might adjust the title if we feel like it's not doing as well as it could be doing. And we might add some more images and clean it up a little bit, change the intro a little bit. Essentially, you. this is where you you or a writer will spend about 10 minutes actually perfecting the article. But we don't do that until we have a good idea if that article is going to do well. Most of these AI articles aren't going to end up in spot one. A vast majority of them aren't. But a good chunk of them, 10, 20, 30 percent of them are going to end up in spots, you know, two, three, four through 15. And that's where the magic happens. You then refine it just a little bit and you can shoot right to the top. Now, this video was about putting out a lot of content and getting a lot of traffic to your blog. The next video we're going to talk about blogging is going to be all about monetizing, how you take all these people that are now showing up to your blog and how we actually make money off them. So keep an eye out. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you've got any more questions that we can include in that next video. Thanks so much for watching guys.